in news desk and to our top story at this hour other than the public service awards there is another kind of award ceremony today and it is being held at the united nations environment program headquarters in gigiri they are recognizing the u.n person of the year our reporter george moringa is on this beat and will tell us more joining us live from gigiri georgia has uh, the award ceremony begun yet Hi, Michelle. Thank you very much. And uh, just a bit of correction there. I, the, the UN Person of the Year Awards were held earlier today. Right now, I am at the Delta House Westlands, where the governor of Kericho County was addressing the media after his visit to the United States. The UN Person of the Year Awards that were held in Gigiri earlier today was a different story. Um, right now, I am at the Delta House Westlands, and the Governor of Kericho County, uh, His Excellency Paul Kiprono Chikwone, who, who was in the US from the 20th of November until yesterday, and he came back with four benefits for, for his county. Joining me live now to tell us more on this of, of, of these uh, benefits that have come from you, you have brought to your people from Kericho County. Thank you very much, sir. Now, among the four points was strengthening partnership with the World Medical Relief, the establishment of a, of, a, of a peace implementation center, and establishing a partnership with Oklahoma University and investments. What do this mean for the people of Kericho County? Uh, thank you very much. What this means for Kerito is that Kerito will be very strong in health delivery. In this particular trip, we benefited from the donation of uh, MRI and CT scan machines worth 18.5 meter penny shillings. And um, working with the uh, State University of Michigan, uh, World Medical Relief, is setting up a peace mecha implantation center in Kerito. So what this means is that for the first time we'll be conducting open heart surgery in Kericho and this will be conducted by a leading professor of cardiology from Michigan State University, Professor Thomas Crawford, who will be conducting this operation from 19 to 16 February 2018. And I want to welcome uh, people who have this particular challenge uh, for this uh, service which is very rare and possibly it would be the first in this country. Uh, secondly, the Oklahoma State University is setting up for us orthopedic and prosthetic center. This will benefit the people of Kericho, the country at large, and Eastern Central Africa. But this will go a long way to alleviate the suffering of the people who have had uh, orthopedic problems. Mm -hmm. Then finally, we discussed various investments, the kind of diaspora, and they are willing to bring money to set up businesses in Kericho, especially in value addition and other aspects uh, within the devolved functions. Back to um, Oklahoma State University, even as you uh, talk to those medical functions and the, and the cardiologists and uh, everything to do with medicine, uh, does this involve scholarships for Kenyan students in Oklahoma University? Yes, uh, we discussed all possible. All right, that is